Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have new Nomad Cosmetics to try out for you guys today. This is their holiday release for 2022 and I believe this is going to be the last release for this year. This one is the Santa's Village Palette and it represents Finland. This is going to be a nine pan palette. You do get a mirror at the top. And it's going to retail for $29. The day that I'm filming this video, the Color Story Reveal has just gone live on their Instagram. I am really excited to dive into this palette. We're getting four matte shades and six shimmer shades. I will say that in swatching the shimmer shadows, I feel like they're more of toppers instead of like traditional shimmers. We'll have to see how that plays out on the eyes, but I'm really liking this color story. I like the packaging. I don't mind a nine pan palette. You know, we've been getting a lot of larger palettes from Nomad Cosmetics and just different brands in general this year. It's nice to come back to a nine pan palette, especially one that retails for $29 and if you use my code STEPH10, I believe it's STEPH10 or STEPH, STEPH or STEPH10, I'll have it right here. That will give you 10% off of your order. I do want to mention that it is limited quantities of this palette and they are not producing any of these uh, shadows as singles. Sometimes they do with a larger palette, but this one they are not going to. Now, another thing in case you're unfamiliar with Nomad Cosmetics, there's always a cause behind the palette, behind the location that Felicia and Auntie, the owners of Nomad Cosmetics, that they have chosen to support. So a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this palette are going to go to benefit the finish of Association for Nature Conservation. A lot of the charities that Nomad Cosmetics supports are either um, to help protect endangered species, different wildlife, um, animal shelters, and of course, uh, just to preserve the environment, um, especially where that palette is representing. This one says um, the Finnish Association for Nature Conservation works to protect the Finnish natural environment and promote nature conservation. And of course, Nomad Cosmetics are proud supporters of that charity. If it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to everybody. My name is Steph and this is what we do here. This is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. Uh, you're always going to see the latest and greatest in makeup reviews. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. I'll create, be creating two looks for you guys today with the Santa's Village palette. We do makeup ranking videos. We just talk about makeup. We have a good time while talking about the makeup and if that sounds great to you and you want to see my video videos on pretty much a daily basis. I do tend to upload quite a bit. Do me a favor and click on that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you like what you see, if you're ready to get into the holiday spirit and you're just as big of a Nomad Cosmetics fan as I am, give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, I will have everything that I am wearing, talking about, listed and linked in the description box. Some of those things might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I'm ready guys. I'm ready to get into the holiday spirit. If you guys want to see the new Nomad Cosmetics Santa's Village palette in action, keep on watching. Okay guys, I've already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I am wearing obviously mascara already. I have on the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara and I'm testing out a new foundation too. So lots going on this weekend here in my stash. Let's see, what do we want to do for the first look? I think I want to do something maybe with a white inner corner and maybe do a little bit of white on the brow bone. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We could do something a little smoky because I see the gray and I see this dark green. You guys know how I feel about green. But I think I'm going to start first with the gray. I'm going to start with the gray and then I'm going to leave the inner corner a little bit open so that way I could do the white and then maybe I'll deepen it up with the green. We'll take it from there. And I'm taking this shade on a Refer 14. The shade is called Elf. I'm glad that the names aren't in Finnish. I would not have been able to pronounce them. If you are from Finland, welcome. I hope that you're able to get this palette maybe for the holidays. Let me know if you've been to Finland. What is it like? I would imagine it's very cold. This is a nice gray, a nice alternative to having like an all, um, or not an all, but a, a matte black in a palette because this is definitely deepening up. Oh guys, I'm still messing with my audio settings, so bear with me. I'm hoping this video is going to be a little more clear. 
as far as the audio is concerned. Okay, so I think that is a nice blend, very easy to work with. Now for the shimmer shadow, which one do I want to go in with? I think I'm going to do, like I already told you guys, I'm going to do the white matte in the inner portion. I think I'm going to go in with this like blue one. You can see how I mean that they're very, they're very light. They're like topper shadows. And actually the white is more of like a, maybe a very pale gray. I don't know if I should put that down first and then do the topper. I think I'm going to do that. Let me do, let's see, I'm going to get the white. The white is called White Christmas. How fitting. Picking a rougher 01. Just place that here. All right, now I'm going to take my damp Morphe M124 with that shade called Peace. Doing some fallout, but it's from the mascara. It's not from the shadow. So this is definitely going to be a shadow that you're going to have to build into. And definitely spray the brush. But I think it's really pretty. I don't feel like it's their strongest shimmer. Like their most sparkly that they've done. But maybe that wasn't the intention either. I know sometimes they purposely put more traditional shimmers in their palettes. Now in a rougher 12, I'm picking up some more of White Christmas. I'm going to see if it's not really that white, you know? I don't feel like it's popping the way that I wanted it to. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do, let's see, actually I don't know that I'm going to do a shadow on the lower lash line. I think I might just do an eyeliner. Let's see, what do I have here? I have this one from Urban Decay and the Robin Eisenberg uh, collaboration. It's called Lunar Landing. I'm going to try doing that down here. I think I'll put that in the waterline as well. Now I'm going to do a little bit of liquid liner for the top lash line. Just add a little bit of finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number one. Um, I went in with my Artista eyeliner in the shade blue from Shop Miss A. And then you saw me use the Urban Decay um, all-nighter in the shade Lunar Landing. I did add another one, uh, or another Urban Decay eyeliner. This is from the Prince Collection. I added it a little bit right in here. It's just a matte white to kind of just make the inner corner pop a little bit. And then I touched up the mascara and that's it. I like this look. Like this is a nice cool toned winter holiday look. It doesn't have to be reserved for the holidays, but you know, Nice winter look. I love the blues together. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, let's do something like traditional Christmas with red and green. How fun would that be? I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do the green, the matte green all over the lid and then we can use this uh, shimmer shadow and I'll reserve the red for the lower lash line. This green shadow is called Fir Tree and I'm taking it on a BK203. That green is really pretty. If there's one thing Nomad knows how to do, it's their matte shadows. They just have a really good formula. Now on a refer 13, I'm just picking up a little bit of the product just so I can blend the edge a little bit better. Now we're going to go into the green shimmer called Winter Lights. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm using my damp Morphe M124. How beautiful does that look on top of this matte green? Ooh. I think I'm just going to bring it all the way to the end. Not completely, just leave a little bit free. 
and we'll do something else for the inner corner that is a beautiful green shimmer though I'm not getting fallout from the shadow I feel like it's the mascara and the reason why I had mascara on is because I filmed the intro to my foundation video and I just wanted to look alive <laughs> I'm going to touch up the green a little bit, the matte green. Now, for that inner corner, I guess let's do the gold. We're doing traditional Christmas. Gold is always included. This one, I don't know how to pronounce. This is in Finnish. Corvan to Turi. <laughs> I don't know. Same Morphe brush. I did spray it. A little bit darker than I thought, but that's because of the green underneath. Now we're going to go into the matte red. This one's called Santa. And I'm using my Ruffer 26. All right, now there's two shimmer shadows that I haven't used, and it's this one down here and this one up here, but I think I'm going to go in with this one called Rudolph. I'm using a damp Ruffer 03. See, like these two shades, the red and Rudolph, what is the red Santa and Rudolph? Perfect. Like you could do, pack the red all over the lid and then put Rudolph on top, kind of like the way I did the green. And that's your look. You can keep it really neutral for the lower lash line if you want to. Just let the red be the focal point. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, guys. So there's just going to be one shadow. You know what? Let me pick up, this one is called uh, Sauna. Let's just see what it does. I'm just going to, just to say we used every shadow in the palette. Don't know that it, yeah, it's too, I think it's too light. It needs to be on its own. Or at least not on top of this other shimmer. Yeah, okay. At least I can say I used all the shades in the palette. Let me go ahead and add some finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed second look. Okay, guys, here's the completed look number two. Love it. Love it so, so much. For the top lash line, I went in with another Artista liner from Shop Missé. This is the green one. I don't know how well it shows up. Ooh, I missed a little spot there. I'll touch it up right now. Um, on top of these shadows, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. And then for the lower waterline, uh, Cherry Pie. Such a good red liner from ColourPop. And this is it. This is a look. Yay. Two looks. Used all the shadows. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video. Share with you guys my final thoughts on this new Nomad Cosmetics Santa's, Santa's Workshop, Santa's Village Palette. Nomad Cosmetics Santa's Village Palette. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I thought this was a really cute release, a really nice way to just add something festive, something holiday inspired into your stash without breaking the bank and without taking too much room. I am really loving the nine pan size. I like the little design on the background. I love this green and these two greens. I mean, amazing. There's a couple shadows like this one in particular, which is the one I have over here here it's more of like a topper kind of more I don't want to say iridescent but it's not as impactful as like the green is even this one right here and I think you could tell that in the swatch I definitely recommend to spray the brush if you feel like you need some glitter glue use the one from NYX that's one of the most affordable ones out there the matte shadows on point love the matte shadows I do wish I do wish that this was a tad bit more pigmented the white but uh, nonetheless I think it serves a purpose and it helps to kind of just lightly blend the edges out of the darker shades I'm really glad that we get like this gray shade it's not totally black so if you're unsure or you really don't like working with a matte black shadow this is a really nice alternative the red the red is a really 
really good red. Love the green. I just think this palette is so cute. I love that it represents Finland. I love the size of the palette and I love the price tag at $29. You can use my code STEPH10. That will give you 10% off of your order. And I'm just, I'm ready guys. I'm ready for the holidays. I always put up my tree after Halloween. I ordered a lot of new Christmas things. I ordered everything from Amazon just to make it easier. So I'm ready guys. I'm ready to start decorating for the holidays and just to get into the holiday spirit. Let me know your thoughts guys what did you think of this new santa's village palette is it gonna be in your future and also let me know which look you like best are you team one two none all sound off down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink that water it is so important cheers and i'll see y'all very soon bye